Hope you're doing good today. This video is gonna be about new parents looking to adopt or interested in adoption. And I, I just first wanna say that adoption should always be the last resort. It is very, very, very complex, very complicated. There's a lot of different viewpoints and there's a lot of different common knowledge that is basically just false that a lot of people do not understand. There's a, there's, Definite loss involved in adoption. Adoption cannot happen without first being relinquished as a child. Uh, it is built upon that separation of family unless that family is lucky enough to be like part of the child's life. Um, there's just a lot of different family styles. There's a lot of different situations. There's drug addiction that could be part of it. There could be abuse, but I try to give a basic, fundamental, sort of easy to understand way to like understand adoption. From my experience and what's in the adoption books that I've read that makes sense to me. So what I'm gonna say in this video is if you are looking to adopt, first of all, I'm assuming you're a good person and you're not gonna abuse your kids, that's just, Let's just get that out of the way because if you're looking to adopt and you're a bad person and you're going to have power over your kids in a, a negative, uh, abusive way, then that's obviously just horrible and you're a horrible person. And there is adoption and there is people in that situation where they get molested and then or they get abused by their legal parents uh, and it's horrible. So, yeah, don't do that. Um, so yeah, adoption should be the last resort. You need to understand that this is now about the adopted child's needs. So you need to research what the adopted child's needs are and could possibly be there is possible grief. There's possible PTSD. If the mother or father were addicts, there could be, uh, genes of addiction. There could be in utero if the mother drank and did drugs, that could be an issue. So you need to do a lot of research, talk to other families, read the adoption books, go on forums, listen to videos like this of adoptees speaking out uh, what their experience is and understand your why. Why do you want to adopt? Are you adopting because you're uh, infertility? You can't have your own biological kids, so you're, you want to build a family on your own uh do you want to adopt because you want a son do you want to adopt because you want a daughter do you want to adopt because you think it's the right thing to do you're helping out understand if your needs are your needs and what the needs of a child being separated from their family what their needs are or could possibly be so it takes a lot of research and talking to other adoptive families and listening to other adoptees to really try to understand the child's world that you're possibly adopting. And then have you done your own research on your own trauma, grief, and loss in your own life? Uh, infertility can be a big loss and I have no experience with that. My parents just wanted a son, so they adopted me. Um, so. There can be a big disconnect. If you're coming in at a loss of infertility, the child's coming in at a loss of losing their, their family, possibly origins and culture and race. So you guys are gonna be here and here, and then they're gonna grow up and possibly, there's gonna be a disconnect of needs and it could be a huge mess if you haven't done your research and don't know what you're getting into. Come on, buddy. So listening to other adoptees, I'm going to be repeating that. It's very important because it is just vital to understand what adoptees go through because more than likely, if you hear the same reoccurring theme of adopted children that are now adults saying the same thing about grief and loss and the lies that are uh, have been told to them about being grateful and that there's no no loss involved at, at losing your birth mother or birth father, uh, genetic mirroring, birth certificate, medical records when you go to the doctor. 
it, these are just small basic things that are reoccurring in a lot of the stories. So figure out if you're adopting for selfish reasons, selfish, selfish reasons, or you're you're saying things like, oh, I'll just adopt because it's not that it's not that easy. There's a lot more that goes into it. This is a child's life that is losing their family and culture and possible uh, ethnicity or connection to their ethnicity. Um, are you willing to meet with other foster and adopted families? And are you open to listening to their stories? And are you educated on if you are a white couple looking to adopt a different race? Do you know what white privilege is? Do you know ethnicity differences? And do you know how to handle them? This is vital. If you are adopting a different race and you do not understand what white privilege is, this is going to be a time of self-analysis. My parents, uh, my adopted parents were white. They never once said zero times in my household that I was Mexican or Latino. And this was extremely damaging on my identity. And to this day, I'm still labeled as white. And if you don't understand why that's a problem, I highly recommend uh, researching if you could possibly have white privilege, if you think you don't have it, then do self-analysis and read books. Uh, there's a book called Love Is Not Enough, and I've talked about it on this channel that goes into white privilege. There's a, a ton of books out there, and it's going to be hard to do self-analysis and see something you may not have looked at before, but this is vital to understand if you're if you're looking to adopt. So I hope this is helpful. You're very appreciated and I'll see you in the next video.